Hello! Today I'm going to be discussing techniques to improve your hand sewing and increase its speed, so grab your beverage of choice and settle in. To explain the process, I am going to be making a petticoat out of red wool. Before you even begin sewing, it is important to cut your fabric carefully. Measuring your fabric before you cut or precisely pinning your sewing pattern will ensure that your fabric is the right size and shape, which will prevent you from having to go back and recut or piece your material. As you cut, cutting the fabric on the right grain will help prevent warping when you sew. Once your pieces of fabric are cut out, it is useful to iron them smooth, which will make pinning and basting easier. Once you are ready to begin sewing, pinning or basting your fabric together will prevent your fabric from sliding around, which will make your garment go together faster. I pinned the side seams of the petticoat. Pinning was also used to secure the pleats at the top of the petticoat and to hold the waist ties in place as I stitched them on, though basting would have been more secure here. The hem of the petticoat was basted before being stitched because basting is more precise at holding a fold in the floopy wool than the pins would be. Basting can also be ironed in place for extra security, as I did with the hem. When you are sewing, using a thimble will help protect your fingers, and once you get used to it, it will make your sewing faster. Corollary to the use of a thimble is the direction of sewing. Your thimble should help push your needle through the fabric, so stitching from your dominant hand towards your non-dominant hand will make your sewing more fluid. As you sew, it is important to use the right stitch. Being able to pick the right stitch will become easier as you sew more, and ideally you will be able to pick a stitch type that is both efficient and up to the task you put it to. For the side seams of my petticoat, I used a mixed running back stitch. I secured the pocket slits with whip stitches. The waistband was also secured to the petticoat with whip stitches, but using a heavier thread that would support the weight of the fabric. The hem was pinned to a tailor's ham to put tension on it and was stitched with a whip stitch. A pillow or other pinnable item works just as well as a tailor's ham. As I did with the hem, putting tension on a seam as you are sewing may help you go faster. Using the techniques I mentioned in this video, I also made a petticoat in linen and timed myself. It took about 6 hours and 45 minutes from start to finish to make this petticoat, and you can check out the description box for a further breakdown of this time. Thank you for watching, and thanks to Ollie for his help in filming and animating portions of this video. I hope that you have a good rest of your day, and happy sewing!